Hello, hello, everybody. It's me, Cat Dog Pig Duck, and welcome back ooh, to another episode of Ah Feed the Beast Horizons. Uh, welcome back, guys. And uh, today we're gonna dive back into Thomcraft. Uh, we're gonna get to witchery in this episode too, but I want to update what we've been working on with the arcane boar. So I have this pickaxe of the core, and what I've been doing off camera has been have been uh, I've been slowly upgrading it with uh, enchantments using the infusion altar. So right now it's at repair two, efficiency five, and fortune two. We're gonna pump up the fortune one more. We're gonna do it right now. And I think you need a diamond, you need that, and you need a pickaxe. And yeah, then we just get our wand and zap this bad boy. It's going to steal, I think, like 15 enchantment levels from us, but let's get to it. Oh, there it goes. So hopefully this will work. We'll just keep our eye open and make sure nothing falls off of these pedestals. But so far so good. Take, it's taking a while to take all my enchantments. Come on now, take it. Alright, so now it should start going. There we go. We can see it draw in the essentia uh, or aspects it needs. I never know the right phrase. There we go. There's the blue stuff. Everybody loves the blue stuff. But we just need to keep an eye on crap like this. There we go. Put our pickaxe back on here. Hopefully that'll be the least of it. There goes the gold stuff. Looks like cheese whiz. Come on now. There we go. It's starting to take stuff good. One more. And there we go. And that should be it. Oof. All right. What? Ah, come here, you. All right. So now it should have fortune three. Wonderful. So... Let's take this bad boy. Uh, currently, I left my arcane boar going here in the basement. Uh, it might take us a little bit to find it. I think it's over here. Yeah, there it is. And we might have to kill off some slimes, but we're going to ignore them for right now. What I'm going to do is pick all of this up. I'm not going to do it on camera because it's just tedious. And what we're going to do is we're going to move it over. Man. Man, that takes a while. Whew. There we go. We're going to move all this over to a new area and try out our new pick. See how well that does. Something else that we might want to put on this pick in the future, we're going to take we're just going to leave it out now because you know, it's just a pain in the butt. To make new stuff uh is we would probably want unbreaking on it. So, I'm going to find a good area to set this up down here. Some place that's probably chunk loaded and uh I'll get right back to you guys real soon. Okay guys, I found a new area. I found a nice little wall here that we can mine. It doesn't look like I've gone too far into the area. And it looks like it might have some, uh, you know, some unexplored stuff that we haven't done yet. So let's set up everything. You want to make sure that this little pipe is facing your trunk. I have a uh, item duct here with a pneumatic servo that I want to just have it set to filter cobblestone. So let's do this with an open hand, and let's whitelist cobblestone, so that way when we get it, it'll just put it into this trash can and we won't have to deal with it. Cobblestone, who cares? So, yep, hold on one second, I gotta wake up my dog who's snoring. Be quiet, would you? Alright. <laughs> she demands to be down here while I'm filming, so just bear with me, you may hear some pug snores going on, especially if she gets up and starts tap dancing. She loves to do that too during episodes. Uh, yeah, so we have it facing the wall. That's good. Um, we're going to set up an arcane lamp here, and we're going to throw a jar of Essentia behind it so it lights up the area so we don't get overrun by monsters. We are also going to put a jar of Perdidio, I think. Oh, there it goes. It's already putting it in there. We'll put a couple down. So that way, that'll speed it up. Um, I'm hoping with the enchantments that we put on this awesome pickaxe I just made that this will go like nobody's business. Other properties, Native Clusters and Fortune 3. Huh, I wonder if it's going to put Efficiency 5 even in the mix. Maybe it already did with Speed 5? I don't know. But Native Clusters come with the pickaxe and now Fortune 3. Uh, yeah, I really think Unbreaking would be a good enchantment to put on this thing. It'll make it last a lot longer. But uh, let's get it started up and see what it does. Holy crap, look at that. Okay, yeah, I definitely think the Speed of efficiency five is doing its work 
So holy moly. Okay, I'm a little bit more pleased with this. Look at all that. We definitely want to put gravel. Where's the gravel? Maybe... Oh, it's turning all the gravel into flint. Oh, we need to turn this thing on. Let's do that real quick so we don't get overrun. There we go. That should get the cobble out of there pretty quick. So very good. We're already getting native clusters, and it is tearing things up. So with repair 2, it'll keep it going. Um, eventually it's going to run out of juice, but right now it's 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 running strong, so very cool. Man, that is going fast. And this way, any diamonds or redstone it picks up is going to be affected by that Fortune 3. Very cool. All right. I'm happy with this. We already, already see we got some gold in here. Not that I need gold, but it's nice to see that we mined it and we did it proper. All right, guys. That I'm pleased with that. That is going to help us out a lot on getting materials like diamonds and such. But let's head upstairs to our handy portal here. And we're back. So we'll just let that run. You just leave that to do its business. And we are going to get back to witchery. As you can see, I've added moss everywhere. I actually really like how it looks. I'm not. Can you climb this stuff? No, it's not like vines. But what we want to do today... What do we want to do? Um... Let's, you know how Thalmcraft has all this awesome gear? I think we need to make the gear that comes with witchery. Um, let's see, what, we're going to make a witch's hat and some robes. Because today I also want to make like a kettle and get going with uh, brewing. And I think that the equipment, the, the, the hat and the robe help you with that. So let's look up hat real quick. Hat is going to be the coolest. That's the one I want the most. So we need to make impregnated leather. Oh man, we need a bunch of stuff for this. Okay, so diamond vapor, whiffs of magic, leather, all kinds of junk. We probably got that stuff. It looks like we do. So let's go ahead and make some of it. Ooh, that one's full. Let's see if this thing has stuff in it. Uh, let's see here. Let's make some impregnated leather, will you? There we go, let's make 16. Okay. So I think we're now out of whiffs of magic, which might be a problem. But let's see, do we have any glowstone up here? I do not see any. Let's check over here real quick. All right, nope, let's run across our house like a damn fool and grab one piece of glowstone. Uh, this one, nope, this one. There we go. One glowstone. We're going to take a stack and we'll just keep it over here. Very good. So we're back over here. Let's make a hat. Let's do it. Impregnated leather like so. And a glowstone. Perfect. One witch's hat. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. <laughs> oh, we got we to gotta get in F5 mode for this. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I wonder if I can dye this purple so it looks like a wizard's hat. Then I would be totally pippin'. Check this out. Expelliarmus! Very cool. <laughs> Let's make the robes, because this is ridiculous. Okay, hopefully the robes aren't too complicated. I think there's actually two types, one being like an uber set. Oh, here we go. We got witch's robes, and I need a creeper heart for that. I got one of those. And leather. This is the necromatic, what do you call it? Necromancer robes. Cool. And you need a necromatic necromantic stone and I it won't let me click to see how to make one of those so we might have to investigate what to do with the necromatic robes very cool that sounds like something I want but I can't afford it right now I'm just a poor I'm just a poor witch um what was it a creeper heart yeah so you get the creeper hearts by killing creepers obviously um they don't drop every time but they drop they drop enough I guess I've got two the whole time I've been playing this game. Ooh, witches robes. Let's check it out. I wonder if these are enchantable. Oh my goodness, look at that. The bad news is that it covers up my, um, I have to take off my jetpack or my thomostatic harness. So that's not good. So I don't see us, we'll only be wearing these robes, I think, when we're brewing. Uh, they give you a boost of brewing, as far as I can tell, but model looks pretty cool. Let's take it. Let's take a look again. Let's escape out of this. We'll go to F5. Yeah. <laughs> it does not go well with my Hawaiian shirt, I do have to say. 
black is has never been my color. I'm a, more of a colorful person. Or I like my clothes colorful. So maybe we can dye this thing like bright red or something. And that way it'll be my Hawaiian shirt, which is robes. I think that'll go good. Okay. So now that we got that done, let's make a kettle. Um, I know one thing we can do with the kettle is we can make redstone, redstone soup or something. And we can add it to this chalice and that will beef up our altar even more. Um, another thing I want to try is maybe moving this altar or creating another altar outside. Um, you know, like down there where my tree grove is and see if that actually is a better use. I mean, this altar is fine for just this, distil this distillery here, but I think I'm going to need a beefier one that can hold more than 2,960 because I was looking through this book. It, you can craft these books in witchcraft. This one's called Circle Magic, and some of these require a lot more energy than I got. Like, I don't know if I can find one here real quick. But look, this one requires 8,000. So I think you would have to have multiple tables to have that sort of thing. So, okay. So let's make a kettle. Let's stop talking and let's make a kettle. I'm wondering if this these, this wood up here is going to be an issue because I know that it needs fire under it. So let's go grab a piece of netherrack. Or I wonder if uh, Nitor will work on it. I say it's worth a try. Let's try Nitor. Nitor doesn't catch things on fire, so it would be helpful if that could be used as a heat source. So what, what do we have to do to make a kettle? Kettle. Let's see here. Here it is. Um, we need a cauldron, a tombstone, sticks, and string. Not bad. Uh, do I have any iron over here, or do I have to run across the room? I have iron. Good. Thank goodness. Whoop. One cauldron. Okay, that's off the list. We need string, sticks, and a tombstone. Here's some sticks. Here's some string. And one a tombstone. All right, we're doing good. We don't have to run across the whole house to get this stuff. There we go, and one kettle. So let's try this out. Um, put that like so. You think that's gonna heat it up? It looks like there's a little, oh, that's the attuned stone, okay. Let's fill it full of water. Let's see if this'll do. Oop. Okay. Get the water bucket in a hand, and there we go. Let's see if it bubbles up. Hopefully this will work. Otherwise, we're going to have to actually put a, a real fire down there. It doesn't look like it's bubbling up. Well, ain't that some crap. What if we kill it, right, and move it up one. Come here, kettle. Because if I put... No, we can put it down there. That'll actually work better. Let's take this out. Let's remove the nitor. And yeah, we'll put our nether rack there. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, my, my jetpack's off! These damn robes! There we go. Oh, that was scary. Okay. Let's go grab some nether rack and stop falling down holes. Should have some over here. No? I have no netherrack? Are you kidding me? Oh, thank goodness. I was about to say. Whew. Maybe we could put some stuff up. Yeah, I hear diamonds. There we go. Netherrack. Now I have to go find a flint and steel. And I wish I'd think of these things ahead of time. Do I have any on me? No. All I have is a piece of metal. I don't have any flint and steel. I should have one, you would think. Uh, a prepared man would. Let's see if we got one. We got one! Okay. At least I didn't have to craft one. Live on the air. Okay, so pluck. And we, do we have our bucket of water back? Nope. We ruined that. We may have to make this room a little different now that we have a open flame in here. I don't think the wood's gonna catch on fire, but you never know in this game. Oh, that looks terrible. Why did I put cobblestone back there? Oh, and I just broke the whole damn thing. What the hell? Here we go. I'm having issues. Bear with me, folks. Rah. 
There we go. Put our netherrack back. There we go. We want the mossy stone here for sure. That looks much better. Now let's see if we can light this thing through the kettle. Nope, it's a solid block. Son of a gun. There we go. Alright, let's put the water in there. And put our mossy stone back. There we go, that looks better. So, I would hope that it would bubble, you know? Like, that way I know, like the cauldron bubbles, that this would bubble. It's definitely smoking. I don't know if that's supposed to be the thing, but let's try to make something simple. Let's look up redstone stew, or soup. Red stone soup. Do I see it anywhere? There's a lot of things called redstone. Oh heavens. Let's go to witchery, I guess. Oh, there it is. It's tiny. Oh, we need tongue of dog. Son of a bitch. <laughs> And I have no wool of bat. I'm going to have to go hunt bats. And we need a drop of luck. And okay, so this is hard to make. Never mind. <laughs> I don't think I have any dog of tongue. Tongue of dog. So we've got some more work to do. Um, we're going to have to go find some wolves and kill them. Maybe we can actually breed them. You know, get some meat and breed them. Make a little pen downstairs and breed them so we can get this stuff. Bats are going to be harder, though, because, honestly, I don't think I've seen a bat in this this game in a long time. So we, we just have to hit them with old Pigs McNuckles, our frying pan for hire. But uh, I know there's one item in this game that helps with that. So, you know, like if you're having issues collecting the witchcraft stuff, let's check it out. I think it's called an Atune or an Athune. Athune. Anyway, let's just type in witchery. It's a big old gold knife. Witchery. Boom. Uh, here it is. Oh, it's an Arthana. Even cooler sounding name. Uh, so let's go ahead and make this. And uh, that way we'll be ready to stab some dogs. Or wolves in this game so we can get some tongue. We're going to take their tongue. That's so gross. Ah, those poor puppies. They'll never see it coming. Ooh, there's a bag of gold in here. Alright, it's not the place for it. So I need gold nuggets and gold. Any gold in here? I know I have gold in the other room. So let's go check that out. We'll make this a thune real quick and we'll be ready to kill some dogs. That sounds horrible. I already am not starting to like this witchery pack, especially if I gotta go kill puppies. Uh, let's see here. There's a chalice. Um... Uh, Looking for gold in all the wrong places. Looking for gold. Do boo boo do do. Nuggets. I think I'm gonna need more gold. I'm gonna need more gold. Give me some more gold. There we go. Let's make an arthana. All right. Let's check this out. Ha! So this is for collecting, um, you know, item mob drop so like if I if I was missing a creeper heart I'd go find a creeper and stab him with this and it'll increase the chances of getting something good so yeah very cool um so I don't think in this episode we're gonna get to making redstone soup seeing as I have to fly around and find a dog and a bat to kill with my new Arthana but next episode we're definitely going to make some redstone soup um, for the main reason is I want to make one of these brooms. The broom itself is very easy to make. You just get some sticks, some hawthorn saplings, and boom, you gotta you have yourself a broom. But in order to make it an enchanted broom, let's see, you have to make this stuff called flying ointment. Let's see if I can find it here real quick. Here it is, flying ointment. And it also takes a wool of a bat, so we'll need to find that, but everything else we should have. But it does take redstone soup. So we're gonna have to make redstone soup anyway. And then we'll have to make a super, super magical circle of magic. Let's see. Oh, I just missed it. There it is. Here's a broom. You got these fancy tabs on the side. These are very cool. So if I scroll through here, let's see. We need an altar with a power of 3,000. And currently we only have 2,000. So we're going to have to make a more powerful altar outside. 
and throw a broom and flying ointment in there and we'll get a really cool flying broom. So that's our new goal. Our new goal is to make a flying broom. I, I love my jetpack, but I would love to check out what the flying broom does. And yeah, so that's what we have in store. Uh, hey guys! Uh, as always, I would like to thank each and every one of you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, give me a big old thumbs up. I mean, why wouldn't you? What's wrong? Shy or something? Hey, I found a seed. Very cool. <laughs> so anyway, subscribe, like the video. Oh crap, my house is on fire. Alright, we're going to figure that out too. And uh, we'll see you guys all real soon. Bye.